Hi guys. Good morning. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> Today we wanted to talk to you about Disney Springs and their reopening. So just in case you guys haven't realized, we are missing a baby. Yes. We're gonna be quiet. Very, very quiet. Someone's sleeping, taking a nap. So we watched a few videos um, about Disney Springs opening and we have our opinions on it and we definitely wanted to share with you the hours. When are they gonna be open? Um, they start, they opened on the 20th to select third party and on the 27th. We are Which, filming by this. the way, just so you guys know, today's the 23rd. Yeah, so. we are filming this on the 23rd. And then on May 27th, Disney is opening three of their loca locations. Uh, World of Disney, the Co-op Marketplace, and Deluxe Burger for mobile ordering only. In case you guys haven't been following all the Disney news like we have, uh, Disney Springs is the only place that is actually open on Disney property. None of the other parks are right now. I have a feeling this is more of Disney trying to test the waters yes, to see if people can follow directions, simple directions, um, and do social distancing, wear masks, blah, 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 do everything that the government and the CDC have been telling people for months now. And we're so. going to quickly touch on the highlights. So let's start off. They're reducing their hours. Um, their new hours are going to be 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. I think that's fair. They're limiting capacity. So I don't think they need crazy hours, especially with most of their locations being closed. And like, I, I'm, I'm kind of with Amy with the whole, like it doesn't really matter the hours per se. I don't think a lot of people are vacationing in Disney. Mm -hmm. So I think the people that are going to Disney Springs are um, locals. Yeah. So with that being said, I mean, we've seen a couple of other videos on YouTube of people that actually have gone to Disney Springs in the last couple of days since it's reopened and they've all said that it's been really really low attendance um basically because of the hours and because no one's vacationing so yeah. with that they're having reduced parking and reduced capacity so i believe they only have one garage open and one entrance to disney springs i think this is necessary for the other um the other things they're implementing i think limiting one way in one way out um, and that way they can control how many people are there. Um, from what I understand, once that garage is full, it's self-parking, so if you want to park away from people, you park away from people, but it doesn't mean that no one's gonna park next to you, per se. Um, once that is full, they will then be doing one, uh, one in, one out procedures. So as soon as someone leaves the garage, one can come in. They are doing temperature checks as you walk in. Um, so there's mark, we'll start off with, there's markers on the ground with the entrance in telling you to keep six feet apart um, and they're doing temperature checks. And from what we saw with clips and pictures, it doesn't look like cast members are doing the temperature check. It's, uh, it looks like it's sponsored by Avent Health. It's their big network. Um, in I think it's their hospital the, that's yeah, also around the area as their well. Their big health network down yeah. in or like the Orlando area. So I think they're sponsoring it. And from what I saw, they didn't have Disney name tags. They had like badges like you would see in a hospital. So I, I have a feeling it's more like um, either volunteers or part-time workers. Also based on the video clips that we've seen from other channels, um, not just that they're you know wearing their name, you know the different tat, you know the IDs or whatnot, but a lot of them are not dressed like cast members and they're wearing um, the name of the hospital on their t-shirts that they're wearing. So again, like Amy just said, I think it is just sponsored like by the local- Jeans and a t-shirt. Yeah, I, I think it's just, you know, sponsored by those, by that hospital. Mm -hmm. You must have a face covering um, to enter and be around Disney Springs. The only time you can take it off is when you're eating or you're sitting down at a dining table. So if you're sitting down in a restaurant, you can take off your mask for the duration of the time you're sitting there from the moment you sit at the table from the moment you get up. You need a face mask to walk to and from your table. Um, and then if you're walking around a grab and go, you have a Starbucks drink or something, you have to wear your mask and you can take it off to take a sip or a bite and then they're, they're asking you to put it back on. From the, what we heard and videos that we watched, um, especially in Disney Food Blog, their video that they put out, put out they said that they did see people pulling down their face masks, walking around without them, and it didn't look like Disney was heavily enforcing it. Um, but I'm sure if it becomes an issue where everyone's like, oh, well, they don't have a face mask, I'm not going to put it on, they'll start enforcing it more. Everyone, I, 
we we've seen all over the news how people are like saying this is my country it's free blah blah, blah. Mm -hmm. don't be stupid just wear a face mask i know it looks stupid i understand it's florida heat i get it no one likes wearing a mask but do it because you're not just doing it for yourself you're doing it for other people around you you don't know if you can have the the virus or any other type of illness that they that you can give to someone else mm -hmm. it's meant for everyone's protection don't be stupid. Just wear the mask, please. Just because you're willing to take the risk doesn't mean everyone else somebody has to, else's yeah. grandmother is ready to take the risk. Because remember, when you're wearing that mask, just a little bit of a tidbit, when you're wearing a mask, it's not you're being protected from other people. It's you're protecting other people from getting something that you may not even know that you have. Mm -hmm. So you could be giving it to someone who their loved one has cancer, God forbid, or has some underlying heavier, you know, underlying condition and you're going to get them sick because you want to be stupid and not wear a face mask. And Tim Tracker did talk about wearing it in Florida heat because that's everyone's biggest complaint is Disney has mentioned that when we return to the parks, they will be requiring face masks for an undetermined amount of time. Um, he mentioned that he was out in Disney Springs where it was 90 degrees in the shade, so it was even hotter in the sun, and he had no problem wearing it, um, no more than if he went to the grocery store. I personally think this is going to be a case-by-case -case basis. For a few reasons he lives in florida the heat yeah he's used to it, it the, he, yes yeah. it's hot to him but he's used to it for me when i wear a face mask and i go into a grocery store i literally i don't put it on until i walk through the door because i physically can't stand it but also you can ask josh from the moment as soon as i walk out of the store i take it off even by like the 10 minute ride to get home my face is bright red i'm sweating i'm uncomfortable and that's after i like got in my car, blasted the AC. So, and just in Florida, I act that way. So I can't imagine having something on my face preventing me from breathing normally, in my opinion. So I think it's case by case. So for me, I'm used to wearing a mask. Yeah. You know, being a fireman, being an EMT, I wear a mask all the time, especially when I'm a fireman. Um, so for me, it doesn't bother me. Not only that, um, the company that I work for, my regular nine to five job, um, requires us all to wear masks while we're in the office. You know, granted we're all in cubicles, granted, but we're all walking around. It's It stinks, like Amy says, with the Florida heat, but again, it's not to protect you, it's to protect other hundreds of other people that you may come in contact with and maybe have the coronavirus and not even know it. And yes, there are signs around Disney Springs, and this should be known regardless if there's a sign or not. When you go out in public, you're taking your own risk. Yes, yeah, so you can use the defense of, well, they're out, they took the risk to come out. Well, some of them may be working and they don't have the choice or the luxury to decide to stay home. They may have to provide for their family. So you do have to decide on that. Because I am one of those people that, yes, you're taking a risk to go out. You know, I avoid going out because I don't like the mask. If I, I'd be a lot more comfortable and I probably would be a lot more lenient if I didn't have to wear a mask out. Um, but I know that I'm preventing other people from getting sick who don't have the luxury of not of making the choice to go out or not. When I go out, I have to go out. Um, I don't go out for just to go walking around Walmart. I go out because my normal grocery store didn't have milk and now I have to go to Walmart to get milk. Um, as I mentioned, there's markings on the ground. This is not just to get into Disney Springs. This is also throughout Disney Springs in lines outside of the restaurants that are open. The stores. Um, the stores, yeah. it's um, like on the smaller walkways, the bridges, there's uh, arrows to show one side is going this way, one side is coming. Um, it, it's kind of like if you have like a single lane of traffic, like on a road, or, you know, if you're on the right side, everyone goes this way, oncoming traffic comes this way. It, I mean, sorry, <laughs> when we go on this way, um, you know, you're walking this way and then oncoming traffic comes this way. Again, it's too, like Amy was, I cut her off, but... It's to limit contact and mm -hmm. people like people who are coming this way to be on this side. So you're bumping into because people like normal Disney. Just like in a Disney park, if you've ever been to Disney Springs, the walkways, it's just constantly dodging people. Um, so this, I think, will definitely prevent it. The only thing I could see happening is groups like spread out in a line or um, people. Don't do that, please. They are having extra hand washing and sanitizing stations common sense i'm glad disney's doing this i think it's definitely necessary 
Didn't um, they have it before all this too, though? No, well, they, not, they, not as widespread. But didn't they have? They a lot had of those? the hand sanitizers, yes. but not the not the washing. No, not the washes. And just the hand yeah. sanitizers were not everywhere. Well, like I said, it wasn't as wide, but they did have at them. Disney World. They were in they were in lines before you got to like pick up your food and like quick service, but that was pretty much it. And they had them in the bathrooms. Um, I, I'm glad they're doing this. I think they should have things like that all the time. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if when we get back to Disney parks, they have themed hand washing, washing stations. So I'm, like, I'm, I'm okay with that. Like the little in, Mickey thing, little soap thing. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm on board with that. <laughs> in Fantasyland, you know, castle designed ones like built into things. Like I would not be surprised if that's a thing when we get back. They are requesting cashless payments. Some stands are not accepting any cash. Some stands are accepting it, but they're encouraging cashless payments as mobile ordering, credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay. So the reason why they're doing this is because even though people in, like your local grocery store has a plexiglass, Disney Springs also installed plexiglass for a lot of their cashiers or any of the major D's that are walking people to their table just so they have less face-to-face -face interaction with guests. Um, the reason why they're asking for this, same reason. Um, so you don't have to physically hand them cash and it's like a hand-to-hand -hand type of thing. I don't know if anyone's ever known this or have done the research on it. One of the dirtiest things, you know, slide yeah. up public toilets is money. Money is so extremely dirty. So with that being said, they always say, like Amy was just saying, use gift cards, use credit cards, use your debit card. That way you can just put your chip, you know, your card in and take it out yourself. You're not touching anything. And better yet, if you have an iPhone, use Apple Pay. You have a watch, use Apple Pay. Um, I know Android phones have something, you know, our... We have Chase credit cards. There's Chase Pay, Google Pay, like use any, everything. Try try and adapt with that because I guarantee you, even after like some of the parks open, I guarantee you they're gonna try asking guests to do the same thing at those locations mm -hmm. too, like Magic Kingdom. So even after the vaccine is already done and blah blah blah, if they're still implementing all these rules, they're gonna still probably ask for guests to still do this. So. This is now May, the ending of May, but I guarantee you if you go six months, a year from now, just we're, if you're watching this video in six months, try planning ahead a little bit. I know there are a lot of people, we know people in our personal lives that budget with cash. They, they have a bank account, but they take out cash to budget with every day. Use that cash at home to buy Disney gift cards um, or put it back in your bank account and charge it just so I understand that cash some people use it, but that way you can use Disney gift cards and be a cashless and be accommodating. Yeah. I mean, going based off of piggybacking off of what Amy just said, if you guys are on a budget or if you give a child a gift card and you want them to spend the money, it's an easy way to control your spending as well as using gift cards and not physically bringing cash. Not only that, because you're on Disney property, yes, there's security, yes, there's cops there, but if you bring a wad of cash that's this you know, wide and you're walking into the parking lot, not that it happens or that it happens on a daily basis, you can get mugged. So it's not as smart to bring all that cash. Like Amy just said, if you're used to budgeting and cash and whatnot, use that cash, go somewhere and buy a Disney gift card, do it that way. Don't don't walk around and bring cash. And that's how I'm going to do it with Ariella in Disney. You know, my parents, I don't know if yours did, did this thing where like on vacation you got $50. Um, food was covered by the parents. It's part of the vacation. No, no, but, no, no. It's part of the gift card. <laughs> but souvenirs, you have $50. I'll just get her a $50 gift card. My parents, back in the 90s, you know, we got, they would hold on to the cash, but we used cash for that. Um, or they, they made sure we had a $20 budget. They watched that $20 budget for us. I'll just give her a $50 gift card or hold on to the $50 gift card for her. I won't. I don't know if we're going to do it this trip because she's only going to be yeah, one. Yeah, she'll be one. But I'm kind of on board with what Amy's saying. <laughs> yeah, this way she can learn to budget. And she feels like she has her own card. She has her own spending sense, money. Sense yeah. of freedom. Yeah. But I don't, I don't feel as bad. Like if I handed her a $50 bill, like, ew, gross, number one. Number two... I feel like a kid saw a $50 bill, they'd be way more willing to spend it than a card that they're like, I don't know how much is left. Like I mentioned, on the 27th, Disney will have three locations open, Disney, uh, World of Disney, Co-op, and Deluxe Burger. With World of Disney, it was shown that there's going to be, there are signs on the doors. By Amaretz, there's, it's the one way in, and then by the Starbucks on that side is out. 
so you can only walk in one way and out one way which i think is pretty good because then the handles aren't as gross um only on one side but also it's the flow of traffic you're not facing people also it's a smarter way like amy was just saying that you know kind of control it yes people go the other way like i was telling you you know on the walkway type of thing but you're less likely if you're coming if you're coming in from this way going this way and then coming out you're less likely for people to come in this way. It so it makes it a little bit easier for, you know, traffic control and whatnot. So throughout Disney Springs, they're making announcements, reminders of washing hands, hand sanitizing, social distancing. With all the signs, I think it's not necessary, but it's nice they're able to. And I think that reminder is like kind of nails it in people's heads. Yeah, I mean, they, you know, everything like the CDC, your, your local news station, they've always said, wash hands, wash hands, wash hands. We see oh, and wear, your face, and, and wear your face covering. This is something I didn't think about. They removed all the trash can lids, so the, their trash cans are push. You don't have to touch that push. You can just throw your stuff in, which I think is pretty smart. I mean, the insects are going to love it, though. Yes, <laughs> and the animals. And the animals. But less to touch. Yeah. And then all restaurants um, that we saw... Um, had paper menus and some even had like QR codes. I think Frontera Cas Cocina had a QR code that you could scan with your phone and the menu would pop up on your phone. Another way of keeping everything, like having to hand something back to, you know, the waiter or waitress or cash, stuff like that's the same thing. So mm -hmm. I think Disney did a smart job overall. Yeah. Um, I mean, again, a lot of these things are common sense. A lot of these things we've all been doing for the last two months. The only thing that I hope, and I, I know it probably will for a while, when we go to Disney, I hope is not there, is the face coverings because I'll have difficulty personally. Um, I've mentioned this in past videos. Everything else I'm totally okay with. Um, I do think that if you take a vacation to Disney World um, or you go to a Disney theme park, I don't think, personally, I think you are putting yourself out there for risk. If you're that worried, I don't, I don't think that you... I think a face mask is personal choice. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know your feelings and uh, thoughts down below. Leave a comment, subscribe, like the video, hit the bell notifications. Do everything that we ask you for every and video. Share, share the video as well. Um, if you know somebody that's still planning a Disney vacation or thinking of going to Disney Springs, share, them, share this video with them. Um, be sure to like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, follow us everywhere. We are all over the place now. <laughs> and... See you, See you real, real soon. soon.